Hi everyone, now let's go through a problem sum in one of the revision worksheet and I will use modern method to cover this problem sum on fractions. Okay, so today I want to go through how do we solve fraction problem sums using model. And in this question, James had 120 more marbles than Dan. After James lost one fifth of his marbles and Dan lost three quarter of his marbles, James had 184 more marbles than Dan. Okay, and the question asks, how many marbles did Dan have at first? Alright, so when you see this sort of question that involve more than or lesser than, okay, a good way to solve the problem sum is to use model. Alright, because drawing a model will help us to visualize the question better. Right, so we can draw it this way. So you can see that James, you draw one unit over here, and then one unit over here. Okay, then for James, you add an extra 120 over here. Alright, so from a model, you can actually see very clearly that James had 120 more marbles than then. Okay, so after James lost one fifth of his marbles, okay, I will need to cut the James into five different parts. Okay, I mean not cut the James, cut the James marbles, right, into five different parts. Okay, so when I cut over here into five parts, do remember that I also need to cut the 120. Okay, because the 120 also belong to the James. Alright, I believe this method is what many uh, schools and teachers teach as a, this, this method is called model stacking. Alright, some schools they actually stack the 120 on top and they cut it. Alright, but I think it's the same if you put it aside and just cut it like that. Alright, so once again you cut into 5 parts here, then from here you just cut into 5 parts. And since then lost 3 over 4, so for then you need to cut into 4 parts. Okay, and from here you shade those that are being lost. So in this case, James lost 1 fifth. So out of the 5 units, this 1 unit is being lost. Okay, and of course, this uh, 1 unit out of this 120 is also being lost. Alright, so that's for James. And for Dan, since he lost 3 quarter, so it'll be these 3 units that are being lost. Alright, so far so good. Okay, so the next step is I need to find the leftover for this part, this orange part here. Okay, because this part is being lost. Alright, so I take 120 divided by 5 because there are 5 units over here and times 4. Okay, with your best calculator, you get the answer 96. And so this 96 will represent this part over here, okay, which is the leftover for the out of this 120. Okay, and now this is the most crucial step. Okay, I want to find the common multiple between these five units and these four units. Okay, so what is the common multiple between five and four? The answer is 20, right? Okay, the reason why I want to make it the common multiple is because I want to make these five units the same as these four units. Alright, so I need to further break up this into their common multiple. Okay, so once again, the common multiple between 5 and 4 is 20. So in order to break up these 5 units into 20 units, so one unit here got to break up into 4 different units. Alright, because 4 times 5 will give me 20. Wow, this one unit over here will need to break up into 5 different units. Alright, because 5 times 4 will give me 20. Alright, do you understand this so far? This is very important, so do make sure you can understand this. Alright, so once again, let me repeat again. I do this because I want to make this whole block here the same as this whole block here, right? So that's why I need to make this into a common multiple of 20, and this also into a common multiple of 20. Okay, and so to do that, I, I treat this as 4 different units. So 4 times 5 give me 20, and I treat this as 5 units. And 5 times 4 will also give me 20. Okay, I hope you can understand this because this is very important. So after you have done this, alright, you are more than halfway through. So you just have to bring the leftover down. Alright, so for James, the leftover will be this part here, which is 16 units. And for Dan, it will be this part over here, which is 5 units. Okay, but what is wrong? Okay, don't forget, for James, he is also left with the orange, cut, orange part here, right? Which is the 96. So you got to bring the 96 down here also. Okay? And from here, the question says that James had 184 more marbles than Dan. So the 
gap here, all right, the, the, the part here will stand for 184. Okay, so from the model, we can see clearly that from here to here is 11 units, right? Because 16 minus 5 is 11. Okay, so the 11 units from here to here will be the same as 184 minus 96. Okay, and so 184 minus 96 will give me 88. And one unit will be 11, uh, 88 divided by 11 will give, will give me 8. Okay, and so the question asks for the numbers that then have at first. So then initially has 20 units, right? Okay, be careful, it's not 4 units. You need to take the, the 20 units because you have converted them. Alright, so for then it's 20 units. So the answer be 20 times 8 will be 160 marbles. Okay, so once again, when you see questions like this that involve uh, fractions, okay, and there is a statement that someone has something more than another person or lesser than, all right, a good method to use is to use model drawing. Okay, so I hope that this will help you in your future problem sums.